So my client's room used to be pink and green paint on her walls and her dad actually painted her room Maui mist and after that she was completely lost what to do with her room so that's where I come in there was four items that could not be changed at all which really restricted me but hey I love challenges Hi everyone, so we're here in Sydney's room. She's the teenager that I'm doing a room makeover for and I'm really excited to see this place transform into a, a space that she loves to come home to after a long day of middle school. <laughs> here goes the first piece. <laughs> so we just put the shelf up here. We wanted um, something a little wider but this really fit in the budget and it was the perfect color, so we're gonna work with this. So she's gonna use this as a nightlight and if we had it in the budget to get a little nightstand, we would, but we don't. And this is like a pretty big piece. So we can actually just put it here and it will still work. So I do want to talk a little bit about the color palette that was chosen for this room. We went with blushes, whites, and golds. And guys, don't be scared to get different shades of the same color. Like, even though it's all blush, this is like brighter, this is lighter, this is darker, this is even darker. You're allowed to do that. It would be so boring if you had the same color the same shade and the same material. You want different textures, you want different materials, but you still want it to work and blend together. And if you notice, there's a lot of geometric stuff going on in this room, but it's working together, like the shapes on here, the shapes on here, the shape on here. We used a curtain rod that was laying around the house, so repurposing is great. If you can repurpose things, do it. So you can see the curtain is really low and this is a very common mistake a lot of people make in their houses. They put the curtains right over the windowsill, but what you actually want to do is put it much higher up and it really makes the room look taller and bigger as well. So we put um, the curtains and the curtain rod much higher and as you can see, doesn't the room well, if you were in here, trust me, it feels bigger. feels like it's a super wide window, even though it's a little one. So here's another tip for you guys. Greenery really, really does make a huge impact to the room. Really helps to liven it up and brighten it up. And this is a, actually a really, really small room. We have five plants in here. Um, all different sizes, shapes. Greens and whites are the tones for the plants in here. One real one, four fake ones. But it just makes the place so much more inviting. A longer wall, so we wanted a bigger piece. And I wanted to center it with the bed and not with the whole wall. This is from Hobby Lobby. I used a 40% coupon on this, so I got this for 40. It's a really nice canvas. It doesn't look as good on, on video as it does in person, but the colors and the sparkles really blend, and it's like a really thick, like I would say an inch, inch and a half. And the last simple piece of art, because my client loves simple things, is from Home Goods and got so lucky. It's gold and kind of like a blush cream color. So when you're starting a room makeover, it can be pretty confusing where to start, but here's a tip. You want to either start with a rug and then build your way up from there or with a piece that your client absolutely has to have in their room. So we started with this statement piece that everything else was inspired from and everything else really is. So for this room makeover I wanted to create a space that Sydney could retreat to every single day 
and you can see just doing a simple room makeover can completely change the energy of the whole space.